Hello, David Brennan with Case IH. Hey, I want to talk about today uh, creating products and creating your product library uh, before you go to the field uh, when you're connected to a 2000 series early riser planner and a Pro 1200 display. We can create these varieties that we can use later through our AFS Connect portal and track those varieties, measuring them on yield and performance of those different varieties. So let's first go into our main menu and we'll walk into the data card. Once we get into the data card, you'll see over on the right hand area that I can scroll down and filter on a crop type. Once I get into that crop filtering, I can unselect them all. So typically I'll go in and deselect all. And if I'm in a typical corn and soybean area, maybe just select two corn, corn and soybeans. You'll see that that is actually my active uh, crop type. So I've got that selected and then for later use, it'll be cleaned up for me. So now that I've got that created, I wanna come back into that data card and I wanna sl slide down to the product library over on the right hand side. That product library, they'll let me use a drop down and look at my products that I've already got created. So as a grower, I know as they start to get my crop types in or my, my varieties in, I can uh, look at, at those uh, different variety names and uh, types and numbers, and I can start to add those in. So if I wanna add a new product, I'll come and create add new product, type in that name, Let's just call it our seed corn for this particular one. Obviously a lot of name brands out there of, of different uh, uh, seed corn varieties, seed bean varieties, seed varieties. I'll come down and select then my product uh, form. I'm gonna select seed versus bulk seed. That's gonna read out or change the readout and the application rate of a thousand seeds per acre versus pounds per acre. Now to adjust my application rate, I'll select that. I'll use my dial on my armrest and I'll crank that up to uh, an application rate, maybe my lowest application rate or slightly below my lowest application rate. And then I'll come in and select a secondary application rate. So maybe 32,000. Maybe set in a min application rate as well, especially if I'm running a prescription, just to make sure that that gets set uh, at a script, uh, at a level that I want to, if I'm outside of that prescription area, um, that it goes to that min application rate. The last thing I need to do is come down and select that crop type. That's where that data filter comes into place for me. I'll select that that be in corn. I'll hit add. And now I've got that new crop type selected for me or added in for into my product library. I can use the drop down uh, menu and copy those if I've got multiple varieties that I'm entering in. Uh, but now I've created that product library. I've got a liquid in there and I've got multiple seed varieties in there. So we can add those in at any time ahead of planting. So that was product library creation and, and selecting and filtering on uh, the different crop types. For more information, visit uh, caseih.com or your local Case IH dealer.